Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. A giant 3,500 to 4,000 year old Barrow Cemetery has been discovered in Wiltshire in England. And so far, 10 Bronze Age burials have been excavated, as well as 3 piles of buried cremation ash. Of course, Wiltshire is already famous for its history, because it includes the Stonehenge Neolithic landscape, which is located around 8 miles north of the newly excavated site, which is on the outskirts of the suburban town of Harnham, near the city of Salisbury. Stonehenge had three phases of construction, with the final phase dated to between 2550 and 1600 BC, meaning the newly excavated barrows were made at the same time as this final stage, very much when the famous Henge Monument was in use. Stonehenge Phase 3 could have had as many as six subphases of work, with new stones added, stones taken away, stones reshaped and new ring pits dug. By all accounts, this was a period of intense activity, and being buried so close to Stonehenge, you can't help but think that the people that were buried inside the barrows knew the stone circle very well. Wiltshire already has a large selection of Bronze Age barrows, many of which have been found within the World Heritage Site. But this part of Wiltshire, 8 miles away, close to the medieval city of Salisbury, is not well understood. So, what do we know about the new discovery? Well, it's somewhat of a chance find. The area had been earmarked for the building of 640 new homes, and before the builders go in, archaeologists from Cotswold Archaeology had the chance to excavate. Bronze Age round barrows are found all over England, and can be easily identified as a round mound of earth that's surrounded by a ring ditch, from which the earth and stone for the mound was dug. But with centuries of cultivation, many barrows have been levelled and lost, and that's the case with these new discoveries. Although, Google Earth has always shown that this region has a lot of history hiding below the surface. More on this at the end of the video. Barrows usually comprise a central burial chamber, a mound and surrounding ditch, and they can range in size from under 10 metres, all the way up to 50 metres in diameter. Other earthworks are also often associated. There are also a number of varieties, including bell barrows that have a sizeable central mound, disc barrows with a smaller central mound, and pond barrows that have a hollow in the centre. Some barrows contain just one burial, others have a sequence of burials, and sometimes there are multiple burials, people that have been laid to rest at the same time. The cemetery under investigation consists of 20 or more barrows, which spread from the very edge of Harnham on the Nadder Valley floor, up to and across the adjacent Chalk Hillside, on what is the northern edge of the landscape of Cranbourne Chase. They're generally arranged in small clusters, either in pairs or groups of six, and so far, only five have been excavated. At least three of the barrows are multi-phased, and two of them have been substantially enlarged. Interestingly, one of the barrows changed its shape, with the original oval ditch changing to near circular. This change in form indicates it could have had Neolithic origins. Near the centre was a mass grave, containing skeletal remains of adults and children, possibly Neolithic, and the bones are now set to be radiocarbon dated. The barrow also contained two further graves, and these are likely from the very start of the Bronze Age. The oval barrow also cut through Neolithic pits, and these contained a selection of red deer antler, and these were used in ancient times as handpicks, or were sometimes attached to wooden handles to make pitchforks and rakes. Archaeologists also found combs, flint tools, as well as weapons like maceheads and mattocks. 
As well as the more ancient finds, archaeologists also uncovered Saxon remains, including a possible sunken building, a waterhole with preserved timbers, Saxon pottery, iron knife blades and a possible piece of Roman pottery. We also find a late Iron Age cultivation terrace, which is rare to find in Wiltshire, and clear evidence of a late Bronze Age to Iron Age settlement made up of over 240 pits and post holes. The pits were used for rubbish, but some of them could have been dug to store grain. In another part of the site, more Neolithic pits were discovered, and these contained pottery known as grooved ware. This type originates on Orkney around 3000 BC, before spreading across Britain and Ireland as people migrated. We know that this type of pottery was used by the early builders of Stonehenge, as well as Avebury and Durrington Walls. Neolithic pit deposits often contain token amounts of broken and burnt material, the remains of feasts, and the occasional exotic object. In the new excavation site, as well as the grooveware pottery, experts have also found a microdenticulate, which is a small flint saw, as well as three oblique arrowheads. It's proving to be an area steeped in history, and when I was looking for this site on Google Earth, I could see there is a hell of a lot more still to find. As land dries out, satellite photographs can reveal hidden archaeology below the surface, and although it's hard to say exactly what we're looking at, using satellite photos from 2014, and it's clear there are many features below ground. We can see the burrows at the excavation site when it was still a working field, but if we move 900 metres to the south, we find this incredible area, and clear archaeological features are visible. Zoom out further and let your eyes pan across the landscape, and we can quickly identify features that cut across the modern layout of fields. Wiltshire is well known for the Stonehenge landscape, Britain's most famous ancient site, but there is clearly so much lost history just waiting to be discovered. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.